struck targets in Syria in support of President Trump's objective to deter the future use of chemical weapons. Our forces were integrated throughout the planning and execution of the operation. The targets that were struck and destroyed were specifically associated with the Syrian regime's chemical weapons program. We also selected targets that would minimize the risk to innocent civilians. The first target was a scientific research center located in the greater Damascus area. This military facility was a Syrian center for the research, development, production and testing of chemical and biological warfare technology. The second target was a chemical weapons storage facility west of Holmes. We assessed that this was the primary location of Syrian sarin and precursor production equipment. The third target, which was in the vicinity of the second target, contained both a chemical weapons equipment storage facility and an important command post. U.S., British, and French naval and air forces were involved in the operation, and for reasons of operational security, I won't be more specific this evening. Before we take questions, I'd like to address how this evening's strike were qualitatively and quantitatively different than 2017. Last year, we conducted a unilateral strike on a single site. The focus was on the aircraft associated with the Syrian chemical weapons attack in April of 2017. This evening, we conducted strikes with two allies on multiple sites that will result in a long-term degradation of Syrians' capability to research, develop, and employ chemical and biological weapons. Con, so what's going on? Trump just uh, did airstrikes, if it's true, on Syria. But first and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles, the elders of GMS who rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Uh, what you're seeing is a Pentagon spokesman, uh, probably one of them joint chiefs, speaking on the airstrikes that Trump did tonight on Syria. Um, the allies were uh, French and the British, which we know in Revelation 17, they're going to eventually turn on us. So we're hoping that this, um, this airstrikes that's happening could be the beginning of the bringing in of the earth of the, of the chip and martial law and ultimately a thermonuclear war, war, man. So we know it's ultimately going to be, but we hope that this particular airstrike will go ahead and bring these prophecies around so they can fall like a domino. <clears throat> you know, I'm going to read uh, 2nd Ezra 16. It says, Woe unto the Babylon and Asia and woe unto the Egypt, because America is Babylon. But Baal mean confusion in Egypt is the uh, America's known as spiritual Egypt because they have taken on all the customs of ancient Egypt, right? And they incorporate them to their witchcraft. It says, Girt up yourselves with clothes of sack and be in, in hair and be well your children and be sorry for the destruction is at hand. So the destruction is at hand. So we're telling two thirds of our own people and we're telling you Edomites, man, the destruction is here, man. You should be mourning because you're finna be destroyed viciously, man. Soon come. Your Lord is getting ready to uh, unleash his fury with no pity. And it says, a sword is sent um, upon you and turn it back. Because once you shoot these missiles, there ain't no turning back. You know, if this report is true, man. You know? So we waiting on this, man. This is what we waiting on. Uh, verse 11, it says, the Lord shall and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence so the Lord is getting ready to make his debut when y'all keep going and y'all accumulate all the way to World War 3 and, and the Lord is going to make his presence in that valley of Jehoshaphat coming from the east to the west man pursuing the second edge of the 13th chapter man it's getting ready to be an all out war it says a strong for, for strong is the right hand that bendeth the bow, his arrows that he shooteth are straight and shall not miss when they begin to be shot unto the ends of the world. So, hey, the, the arrows are the thermonuclear missiles, man. Just like they shot, they targets, they're not going to miss their targets. And when it's when it's on and popping, with the, when, when, the, when they start shooting back, theirs will not miss their targets also. So, hey, we right here, man, at the, at the brink of uh, salvation, man, for the nation of Israel and the elect. You know, so we, we hope that it's, that's what it is. You know, 
We hope that this is the time we, we've been waiting for, man. And with that, I'm going to give all praise to the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of GMS who rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. GMS, stop and listen. Shalom.